This next question is from a reading specialist exam. It's uh, from the reading specialist exam in Texas. So, so we just uh, we just looked at one from Texas involving science of teaching reading, and this is the reading specialist exam. Uh, so it's a it's a notch up. You can tell by the color. It, it's a reading specialist question. It's a little harder. And what I want you to do is I'm still going to give you one minute to read this, but I want you to read it yourself. Unpause me, read it yourself, and then unpause me, and we're going to talk about it, okay? All right, uh, go. Unpause. Okay. Now, we have used uh, this metaphor a couple times so far of recognizing our friend. So when we read the question and we spot something in the question that, you know, the key concept that they're testing, okay? or the, they give a scenario and you, you can associate it with a key concept. I want you to see if you spotted it. And, and what I always do in looking at this right here, any type of question, you know, I always glance, what's the grade, right? So we know it's kindergarten, but it says here, it's, it's a uh, phonological awareness assessment, or it could be a phonological awareness question or a assessment question, right? They could, this could fall into either or. So reading specialists are ob obviously going to work with a lot of different assessments and analyze them. So you could see a lot of phonological awareness assessment questions. Um, but, but here we have this question here involving um, assessments done on phonological awareness. And it says here that indicates that the majority of the students in the kindergarten class, so we're thinking grade level five to six, okay, five to six-ish, uh, can segment sentences into words. Now that is what we're looking for. Segment sentences into words. And that is our friend right there. And this would be considered basic. This is considered basic phonological awareness. It's basic because it's dealing with um, hearing, hearing similarities in words and, and making observations of sounds in words on the word, word level, right? So hearing the words in spoken in, in, a, in spoken language is or segmenting sentences into words is a basic phonological awareness skill. That is our friend we're dealing with. Now it says, uh, it goes on, it says, given the information suggested by the data, the most appropriate next step for the reading specialist is to recommend that the ch uh, teacher provide whole group instruction focused on which of the following. So what would be the next thing? They're able to do this. The next one is this in its progression. Now start to hear syllables and words. So let's see here. It's not deleting sounds. Anything to do with a sound or a phoneme is a phonemic awareness activity. That's out. It's not segmenting words into individual phonemes. Again, that's a phonemic awareness activity because it's dealing with individual sounds. Cross that one out. Um, it's not having to do with listening, uh, repeating and listening to words that have the same rhyme. Okay. We're not doing uh, rhyme and alliteration. That's out. That's too basic. The next one would be involving syllables. And this says blending syllables to pronounce words like wonderful, wonderful. So, so look team, maybe you, you got this right away, but I just want to reinforce that idea that your job as you read this is to spot your friend or whatever friend they present to you. And if you can spot that, hey, segmenting sentences in words, uh, that goes here, right? That's going to help you get to the right answer. What would the next step be? Well, the next step would be something to do with syllables. This would be the next step for whole group instruction. That's a nice question. Let's just really quickly review uh, Let's see. Oh, we have here. Um, <clears throat> it's actually not. Um, it, it is a this. What's nice about some of these exams is they give great explanations of the answers. Now, you can pause the video and read this over. Or what I would suggest is you actually go to the practice test and you read over the rationale behind why it was A. And and in, and reading it over is another way of going through some of that vocab. You'll see in this one right here. I'm not going to read it. But, you know, it will, I can see some of the vocabulary just popping out. So, so this one right here, let me give a different color because that, that, that color did not show up very nicely. You can see, can you see these words? Rhyming, segmentation, syllable, 
phonemes, phonological awareness. The answer is helping, um, helping build that language. And the language is a, is a very important piece to all these exams, okay? All right, it's a great syllable question, so take a look at it a little closer, and we'll go to the next question, okay? See you then.